Welcome to Metro Vancouver Close-Up, linking local actions with regional goals. In Metro Vancouver in 2011, 14% of trips in the region were taken by transit and 73% by automobile. Surrey is helping citizens understand their transportation choices and explore ways to promote low-carbon priorities. The City of Surrey is shedding light on their transportation policies by engaging citizens in a nine-week course about municipal decisions and processes. The transportation lecture programme started here in Surrey six years ago. We wanted to give people the opportunity to have some understanding how the decisions are made behind some of these quite important policy directions that the city has. Guest speakers and city tours expose students to regional policies, day-to-day -day operational and management decisions and long-term transportation visions. Tonight we're having the students doing a planning exercise where they are being tasked at designing a road cross-section that takes into account uh, light rail transit on Fraser Highway. So no trees? No, well, no two meters well, wide. I don't know. Th there will be a friggin' tree. Should we, should we, should we yes. In six years, the course has welcomed more than 150 students. I'm fine with saying forget it and just doing one lane of traffic in each direction. Not only Surrey residents, but a range of people from all municipalities. So I am a transportation engineer myself. I actually, I'm quite, uh, quite new in the uh, Metro Vancouver area. I used to be uh, living in uh, Edmonton, so it's great for me to understand Surrey and Vancouver in general as well. There's students, there's commuters, there's cyclists, cycling enthusiasts. That's really interesting to see all these different views and perspectives. So I didn't know when I started that I was going to be running for city council. But throughout the campaign, because transportation was such a big issue, I really felt that it added some weight to my credibility as a potential candidate for city council. It was interesting because it was really inspirational. I found it inspirational. I'm now on the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, so it really helped to provide a foundation there as well. As a city, you know, we are defined by our growth and our evolution, and a very rapid evolution. And this course, gives people an understanding that as a city we have changed significantly and that's what makes this course really uh, a pleasure to give and I hope really interesting for people to be part of. <laughs>